It's early morning at the Double Light Studios. Just starting in my first cup of tea. Second here. Uh, oh yeah. Nothing like a nice hot cup of generic hot tea. Alright, today I wanted to show you something very interesting, I think anyway. A uh, football player. This is really not very difficult. It uses my basic utility body that I use and a variation of Robbie Furman's Loodles. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, go find Robbie Furman's uh, Twist Ecology series and find his books, his uh, DVD on Loodles, and it'll tell you everything you need to know about making people. But this is my version of a football player. Take a blush or brown, it doesn't matter. It depends, you know, like, a, you know, it depends on how what kind of racial characteristics you want to put into your character. Personally, since I live in Iowa, I use blush a lot more than other colors, but I don't really care one way or the other. Now, first thing, you start off with a pinch twist. That's just the way I've always done it. You can put the pinch twist in there at a different time, but start with one pinch twist. That's one ear, about a three inch, four finger bubble. I, I use my fingers. Uh, you're going to hear an awful lot from me about just about that much a lot. Okay, another one inch bubble. Pinch twist that. And go back. See, that's why you don't always pinch twist the first time. Go back. You need a pinch twist. Alright, so you have two four finger bubbles. Make a third and a fourth. Now I just leave that on there. That just it just works better for me. Now since I am in Iowa and I am a somewhat fan of Iowa, black and gold. So Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, black and gold. Uh, if you want to do Green Bay Packers, it's green and gold. So any colors you want. I'm using black for the helmet. Blow it up, leave eh, four fingers or so on the end. Make sure you tie it because if you don't tie the knot, all the air comes out. Tie it in on one of the ears. Right. Run the balloon across. Pop it. Go get another balloon. Same drill. Tie it in. Take it across. Back and forth, all you do is go around the balloon once. You can go three or four. I usually do three. You can do whatever you want. And then pick a side that you like. I think I'll go with this one. Make a loop for the face dart. Just you know, I just put a simple face mask on. Wrap this around a couple times. Snap. Snap that off. Alright, got that. Now this one. Suck some of that down to the end. I've got my snippet here. By the way, this is one of the cool things with the snippet that I've been doing. Instead of putting on my belt, which I can't see because I'm fat, uh, I put it on a large paint stirring stick that I got from Walmart for, I don't know, 80 cents. And you can mount it anywhere. Now, get my little bubble back. This is his nose. I tuck it in between the black and the blush and take it down right out the bottom just like that and then clean up the little edge there and set him aside. 
Now, since I popped the first black one, I had to go get another one. I have a black and a yellow. Well, that's a golden rod. All right. Now, I, I don't like this utility body. Pay attention to this. I do this a lot. This is what I do on my Spider-Man too. Both sides are the same. You make a loop. Make a pinch twist. Thank you. Like that. That's in this case a foot. I always like to make a little bend in there. I come up, make two pinch twists. like that. You have a loop, pinch twist, four finger bubble, two pinch twists. Do that again. Loop. Pinch twist. Give them a little life. And two pinch twists. Now the trick here is Overlap. Go like this. Just about there. And one of the reasons I'm using this is so you can keep track of where you are so you don't have a problem with how things work. If you take the yellow one up to the pinch press and back. You take the black one. down or back to the other pinch twist. Now in my case, I prefer the yellow to, on this one to be his feet. So you put another pinch twist and a loop. You can do what you want with the excess. If it's too long, you pop it off. If it's not, easily leave it alone. Um, take this arm, the same thing. Give him a bubble, a little pinch twist, and a loop. Poor hand. Now you see I've got plenty of left on that, so I'll just take that, snap off the end, um, one of these times I'm going to show you tips and tricks, including my curling iron trick and how I mount my snippet and a couple of other things. Okay, now that's your basic body and you can see where the bubbles go. Foot, leg, two pinch twi twists for the butt, up, back, down, leg, foot. It's exactly the same. Both both balloons are twisted exactly alike. They're not, you know, they're not different. Now this gives you a really quick body. You can do this in any kind of colors. I use this for Spider-Man with red and blue. I use this for other superheroes when I want to do one fast because you can do this in about two, a minute and a half. Um, I've done Spider-Man in under, under two minutes. Okay, here's your football player. Here's the helmet. Grab his little dangly. Put it on there. Adjust him. And most of the time, I just give this guy out to whoever wants it, whoever is after it. Um, sometimes I'll draw oh, the Pittsburgh Steelers logo or write Iowa across the front or whatever people want. You can add a little red bubble right in there to make a mouth. But really, that sits on its own quite well. This is a football player. Um, people seem to really like this. You can do the same thing to make a basketball player. Make him taller. You know, give him longer legs. You might have to add some. Uh, I'll do a basketball player at another time here. Probably the next video or two. If you have some questions, some suggestions, uh, send them to me on my Facebook or popupballoon at gmail.com. Uh, and, of course, monetary contributions are always helpful. Um, if you want faster service, wave a $20 bill over your head. So thank you very much.
uh, from the Double Wide Studios. This is Papa Balloon. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.